Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Rayyan Arab recording for the daily reminder. I walked into a person today who gave me a hug and a kiss on my cheek and I felt that this person, this man, loves me for the sake of Allah. He's an older man and I really felt that he loves me for the sake of Allah. So I thought that I should sit here today and speak about loving for the sake of Allah. It would be a very interesting topic. So please sit back and relax and enjoy this talk. Now, you have to know that there are two types of friends. Friends who love each other for the sake of Allah and friends who love each other for the sake of the shaitan. And those who love each other for the sake of Allah, they want good for you. They want you to do good and they want good for you and they want to see you doing good. And those who love you for the sake of the devil, for the sake of Satan, for the sake of the shaitan, they want evil for you and they want you to do evil with them and they want to see you doing evil. Subhanallah, you see the difference. But look at the advantage of those who love each other for the sake of Allah. The Almighty calls on the day of resurrection, this hadith is it's true, it's authentic. Um, the Almighty calls, the Almighty Allah, He calls on the day of resurrection, He says, Aynal mutahabbun where are those who love for my sake? He calls on the day of resurrection and he says, Where are those who love for my sake? On this day, I shall shade them under my shade when there is no shade but my shade. Subhanallah. On this day, I shall shade them under my shade when there is no shade but my shade. Who? Those people who love each other for the sake of Allah, Allah grants them mercy on the day of resurrection when there is no mercy but Allah's mercy to a certain group of people. And there is something greater than loving each other for the sake of Allah. That's something great. And there's something greater than loving each other for the sake of Allah. And that is getting the Almighty Allah Azzawajal to love you. There is nothing greater than that. Why? Why? Because when you get Allah Azzawajal to love you, it's like you have everything. You own everything. You got it right there. You got the power. You got the keys in your hands. You own it. When you get the Almighty Allah Azzawajal to love you. Listen to this hadith. This hadith is sahih, it is authentic by Muslim, Bukhari, Tirmidhi, and Malik. The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said, إِذَا حَبَّ اللَّهِ إِذَا حَبَّ اللَّهِ فُلَان نَادَى جِبْرِيل If the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal loves a person, He calls down on Jibreel. And He says, إِنِّي أُحِبْ فُلَان فَأَحِبُّ He says, I love Fulan, I love this person, so you shall love him. فَيُحِبُّهُ جِبْرِيل So then Jibreel loves him. فَيُنَادِي فِي أَهْلِ السَّمَاءِ Then Jibreel calls down to all these billions and billions of angels in the skies. فَيَقُولْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبْ فُلَان And he says, Allah Azza wa Jal loves that person. He loves Fulan. فَأَحِبُّ So you shall love him. So then all these angels love that person whom the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal fell in love with. ثُمَّ يُوضَعْ لَهُ الْقُبُولِ فِي الْأَرْضِ and then acceptance is granted to this person on this earth in his life. SubhanAllah. That's when you get the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal to love you. He gets the angels to love you and he gets all this, everybody on this earth to accept you and most of them to love you. Most of them, most of the believers to love you. SubhanAllah. It's amazing. So. The first thing is that we want to make sure that when we love somebody, we love them for the sake of Allah. And most importantly, we only want good for them and we want them to do good. When we see them doing evil, we give them advice and we pull them back to good. When they do evil, we pull them back to good and we don't allow that to happen because we love them for the sake of Allah. Last but not least, we have to work really hard in getting the Almighty Allah Azza wa Jal to love us. Do whatever you can to get Him to love you. Love each other for the sake of Allah and Allah will love you. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.